What's up guys? Mr. Lee Redden here with episode number 12 of the Slayma Wanderers journey. Uh, we have now finished the season so let's get straight into the fixtures and see how we did and see if we did enough to get that all-important European place. So the first game of the season, season, first game of the section was against league leaders Vitarosa Stars and we came away with a nil-nil draw. I um, was quite happy to come to get that to be fair so that we could uh, come away with a point against one of the league leaders and one against the only two teams that are actually above us at the time. We then followed that up with a 2-1 win against Pieter Hotspur. Jose Lito in the 41st minute put us in front. Stanley Hoachu then made it 2 with 8 minutes to go and Dominic Misford pulled one back for a minute dying second but it was only a consolation so shots wise it was 18 to 11 in my favor we had five shots each on target and I had 55 percent of the possession and then after that we then beat Brickacara 4-0 John Mintoff in the fifth minute Trevor Celia two minutes later made it 2-0 and three minutes before half time Stanley Hawachu scored and we went in half time 3-0 up it took us to the 82nd minute to get a fourth when Joselito banged one in for us and we ended up winning 4 0. It's 13 shots to 4 in my favour, 6 shots to 2 on target in my favour, and they had 52% of the possession. We then followed that up with our third win on a spin, 5 2 against the Tarxian Rainbows. Ariola Dalsi in the 11th minute put us 1 0 up and it was 1 0 at half time. In the 67th minute, Stanley Hawachu made it 2. Uh, we have uh, 20 odd minutes to go. And then all of a sudden, it, uh, all hell broke loose. Jeremy Ari pulled one back for traction in the 81st minute to go 2 1. That was the score for 60 seconds when Ariola Dalsi scored his second of the game to make it 3 1. Three minutes later, Pablo Gonzalez made it 4. 60 seconds, Jeremy, Jeremiah. I scored again for Tarakshin to make it 4-2 and in 5 minutes into added on time Hazelito completed the score to give us a 5-2 win. Stats wise it was 20 shots to 10 to me, 9 shots on target to their 4 and I have 58% of the possession. We then went and drew 2-2 against Hibernians. Hibernians, Quarmy. Ariola Dassi put us 1-0 up in the 40th minute and Travis Celia made it 2 in the 65th but just like the Herberlian's game we uh, let a 2 goal lead slip the Nyoko pulled one back for them 60 seconds after I went 2-0 up and in a minute into added on time Daniel made it 2-2 so there's 12 shots to 11 in my favour 4 shots to 3 on target in theirs and I had 54% of the possession uh, that, however, led to a rather poor run of form. We lost at home our first defeat for how many games? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11 games. It was a 4 0 hammering by Mosta. 27th minute, Calabretta put the Mosta 1 0 up. 10 minutes later, he doubled his tally and the score to make it 2. 10 minutes after that, he completed his hat trick. And in the 65th minute, he made it 4 0, and he had all four goals in the game. Stats wise, they had five shots to my 12, they had five on target to my three, and they scored four goals, and it was really frustrating. And it was 53% possession to me. Really more frustrating with the fact that if I'd done well, I would have moved to within about, if I'd won, I would have been about a point off of um, the leaders, if I remember rightly. We then went to Balzan Youths and drew 1-1. Joselito put us 1-0 up in the 62nd minute. However, we were unable to hold on uh, to Abelez's goal in the 90th minute. Got Balzan a point and made it two games without a win for us. 12 shots e uh, each. They had 5 on target to my 2. And I had 56% of the possession. We then went and played another game. We lost to Dingley Swallows. 
Matthew Mendy put us 1-0 up in the 10th minute. They then equalised on a stroke of half time through Leighton Grek. And two minutes into that on time, Kieran Zamets put them 2-1 up. Oops. So there's six, 11 shots to 6 in my favour. I had 5 shots on target to their 4. And they had 51% of the possession. And I come away with nothing at all. Uh, we then played Rabat to Ajax, who were very close to catching us up at this point. Uh, Wayne Borg put I Pablo Gonzalez put us one 0 up in the ninth minute. Wayne Borg equalised with ten minutes to go before half time. Chris Vela put Rabat in front in the sixtieth minute. Fifteen minutes later, Gonzalez made it two, and then again in added on time, Vela scored to give him a three-two win. They had 12 shots to my 7, 5 shots on target to their 3, my 3, sorry, and they had 51% of the possession. <coughs> then the next game was an absolute horror show, losing at home to Valletta. Terence Scary put them 1 0 up in the 42nd minute. 60 seconds later, Dyson Falzon scored, and there was 2 0 at half time. 15 minutes to go, Roderick, Roderick Briefer put Valletta 3 0 up. And then one minute before the end, Terence Scary scored again to give Valletta a 4-0 win. Six shots each. They had four on target to my two. Score all four. And I had 58% of the possession and I come away with a 4-0 defeat. Thankfully, we ended the season with 4-2 against Cormy. James Stead put them 1-0 in front in the second minute. Jose Lito pulled it level on in 10 minutes. And then the World Cup of Quarmy 2 1 up in the 22nd minute. 10 minutes later, Pablo Gonzalez leveled it up again, and we went in at half time 2 2. Alex Muscat then put us 3 uh, 2 up 5 minutes into the second half, and then Joselito wrapped up the win in added on time to give us 4 2 win and a very real chance of qualifying for Europe again. Shots 12 each. I had 6 on target to their 5 and 59% of the possession and I ended up getting the win that I needed to at least have a chance of getting into Europe. I was level on points with Rabat Ajax at that time. Rabat played the day after me and were away to Valletta. They got a point but thankfully it wasn't enough and as you can see I finished third. 11 points behind Vitarosa Stars and Valletta. Vitarosa winning uh, the title on goal difference. Valletta had to be Rabat to go and win the title, but they could only draw, so they missed out on title. So that's since we've started, that's four seasons, three different winners Vitarosa, Valletta, and myself. So Vitarosa go into uh, the Champions League, and then you've got me, Valletta, and Cormi, who won the Euro. Um, Maltese Cup as the Maltese representatives in Europe. Stats wise for last season, uh, unfortunately we're not going to be able to see because I've actually gone too far in to the season because for some reason uh, I've actually got a set up so that actually Malta finishes in April instead of um, May like everyone else. <laughs> Apologies there guys. Um, unfortunately the Maltese Premier League dropped in rankings. Uh, it fell 9 places to 126th. Um, if I remember rightly last season I think actually it was um, Jose Lito. I believe that was actually my leading goal scorer. I can't quite remember. Um, but it's kind of good we've actually gone on a little bit further. Because it's the 19th of June. And the next day is actually the Europa League draw as you can see there so what I'll do is I'll do a live draw of the first round and the second round and see who we get as you can see at the moment I do have Anderlecht in a friendly and I've got also got Olympiakos a home and a friendly and then uh, our feeder club Legia Athletic I think to be fair there's a possibility that I can have Anderlecht and Olympiakos postponed due to uh, the Europa League, but I'm not too sure. So let's have a look. Uh, well, well, we're unseeded. And we could play Zestapone of Georgia, Baku of Azerbaijan, 
HJK Helsinki from Finland, Metalux from Latvia, and Diffidanga from Luxembourg. Um, I want to stay away from HJK if I'm being honest. Uh, I'm not too sure about any other teams, but that's the one team I want to stay away from. Just seeing if. Uh, let's have a look here. No. So, Valletta are actually seeded. And they're going to play Zeta, St. Patrick's, Impulse, Barchin, it's Kelji, it's different. Um, but I'm just wondering if actually all the points I've got in Europe would make... No, I wouldn't actually be seeded at all. Um, so let's do an automatic draw. See how it goes. So I just want to I want to avoid HJK, that's who I want to avoid. I, would, I wouldn't mind playing Defodanga to be fair. So that's one seeded team, Baku already out. So, a couple of oh, Helsingborg, interesting. Um, it's going to be quite a few fixtures, that's going to be the only problem to be honest. Oh, stupid. Shamrock, Mazzari, interesting. Um, oh, we still got 25 games to be drawn. This could be interesting. Probably last fixture of the entire thing, probably. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, bloody hell. Only two games have been one game's been drawn from Arnold. So Valletta get Olympia Vegeta. Stop it there actually because I forgot to have a look and see where Cor there's Cormi. So they're gonna play either Pionic or TNS. And I give up and just complete the whole thing. So let's have a look. Ah oh, crap, it's HJK. TN and Cormy actually got TNS, so Cormy got a chance. A HJK really bugger. Um, actually, that's one thing I need to show you guys. Actually, last season the final was a North London derby. Tottenham beat Arsenal in the final. Uh, Man City won the uh, title last year or the Champions League, beating Barcelona on penalties. Have they drawn it for second qualifying round? So let's see who Valletta get. They get not Valletta, sorry, Vitorosa Stars go to Rudar. So let's just go and draw our second qualifying round. Oh, that's our season. Let's get the second qualifying round going. Are we ranked? Are we seeded? Chance we might be. Well, it looks like we actually could be. So, if we can find, if I can bloody find us, there we are. We're in the second seed pot, and our potential. Teams are HB from Faroe Islands, Suduva from Lithuania, Jugarden of Sweden, Podmek from Bosnia, Roshina from Belarus, and St. Johnston. So I would try and avoid Jugarden. And we got Belshina of Belarus. Mm. It's not bad to be fair. Let's have a look at uh, Valletta and Quarmy. See what they've got. So Quarmy, oh wow, Leb Poznan. And I expect Valletta were uh, seeded again, considering they have got a high um, coefficient. Let's see if we can find them. Um, 
Wow, this is... There you are. Oh, Hibernian. From Scotland. So, that's it for this episode, guys. I will be back once I've done the first 11 games of the season. So, up to Naxar Lions. So, uh, leave some likes, leave some comments. Say how you reckon we'll do in the uh, Europa League qualifying. Uh, subscribe as well, would appreciate it. But until next time, guys. Until next time, guys. Leave some uh, comments, hopefully. And uh, until next time, take it steady.